Hello my loves and welcome back to another Watch Me Work. Today we are going to fulfill this order together. Uh, this customer put in her custom sizes and she wanted long coffin. So here I am with my Apre long coffin natural tips and I am just getting out the sizes that she selected. So when a customer writes down long coffin, uh, I already know that these are the tips that I used because I sent them a size kit. I have a few videos that will be going over with size kit and sizing and all of that good stuff. Make sure you tap into our one-on-one -on -one experience on that um, playlist. I will be going over all of that stuff, all of the questions, all of the essentials, the must-haves, the necessities. So really quick, I just wanted to show you guys these new stands that I got that I absolutely love like look at the size difference they have so they have these skinny ones and then they have two like super tiny ones for the pinkies and a lot of people are using the one that I had on the right side and they would ask me like how do you get your nails to stay and it was very difficult to do but I found these I will have them linked down below and these stands are awesome and they're super pretty like look at them and then they're really sturdy too I just love them I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to the other stands <laughs> so I am just going to prep the nails really quick I personally like to use the buffer I have used the gel X prep uh, little brush method in the past and I've also tried the acetone method in my opinion I don't really like it I prefer to buff them and it just it flows for me I I just like to buff the nails that's what I've been doing for years it's never failed me so you know why fix something that's not broken <laughs> but this is just my preferred prep way everybody has their different ways some people use base coat some people do not I do not I go straight in with the polish I just feel like base coat is not needed and it doesn't it doesn't make a difference in my opinion it's just an added step but you can if a customer like requests the nail to be a little bit thicker or something like that you can always use base coat or even a builder gel so again I will be getting into all of that in the one-on-one -on -one experience so if you're interested and you're ready to learn and you you want to know more about press-ons and stuff I will have all that down below or in my one-on-one -on -one experience so I'm just showing you guys the nail set that I am recreating these are the colors I'm using cosmic latte and pink blush flip flops and camping under the Sun pixie dust and Medusa primary black again I will have everything linked down below the watch me works are gonna go a little bit quicker pace just because you know it's a watch me work I don't want you guys sitting here bored and I'm like you know going super slow but that is what the one-on-one -on is gonna be for it's gonna be simple uh, straight to the point videos and it's all gonna be real time and it's most likely gonna be either one nail or it'll be like the five nails and then I will show you guys what they look like applied it really just depends on the video so right here I'm just going in with the cosmic latte I like to do two coats of this one and then I go over top with two coats of the blush pink and it just gives it that perfect like pinky nude color and then the thumb is gonna be our ombre nail so again I will be going over ombre in the one-on-one -on -one experience but for me I like to put the color that is going to be seen at the tip I like to paint the entire nail with that color and then I will get into why I like to do that as well so yeah I'm just gonna go in with these really quick these colors and then let you guys watch and see um, how the blush pink looks on top of this it's so pretty
okay so let's get into some foil so the number one thing i would say if you're struggling with foil and you're not cutting out a piece that's going to fit the nail definitely start with that cut out a small piece that's going to fit the nail and then i use the mccart foil gel absolutely love it i like to double cure it so i'll do 60 seconds let the light turn off do another 60 seconds for a total of 120 seconds and then it makes the gel so sticky i just i love it so as you can see right here i'm just pressing that foil in with my finger like pretty hard as hard as i can and then i'm slowly taking off the foil like obviously it looks really fast because we're on like speed four four times speed or something <laughs> but it looks quick but i'm taking it very very slow and just checking to make sure the entire foil is on the nail and if it's not i'm going to pull it back down and i'm like literally scratching the foil into the nail like you want to get like scratch you want to push so hard so that way that foil sticks and then the entire foil is going to be on the nail like look at that perfect so yeah i get asked a lot how to do how i do my foils that is how i definitely I'm gonna keep on promoting the one-on-one -on -one experience because I'm just so excited to teach you guys. I will definitely go in with multiple different kinds of foils because I do have trouble with some foils. So I'm gonna do some one-on-ones and I'm gonna do, you know, a real time and just show you guys the difference between foils. So yeah, so we got the foil nail done. Now we are going into the plaid nail. I absolutely love plaids and <clears throat> I will say, I take pride in my lines. I really do. I absolutely love line work. It used to be the scariest thing ever for me and now I just, ugh, I love it. And I do get asked a lot, how do you do your plaids? How did you get a steady hand? And I, I'll, I will say I've always had a pretty steady hand. Like I'm not a shaky person really. So I, I don't ever, you know, I don't really have shaky hands. I was actually, fun fact, I was actually a medical assistant before doing cosmetology and I did phlebotomy and I loved taking blood and doing needles and I had such a steady hand with that so yeah I, I don't know I just I've always had a steady hand but I will do like show you guys some exercises and some things that we can do to try to get your hand more steady if you're having trouble but if you can see how I have my finger planted my pinky is planted onto the bottom of the nail stand as I'm working like right there and it's really making my hand super steady and I'm going slow I promise I'm going slow um this makes it look like I'm like I'm super fast and a pro which I'm not I just like you know I feel like I can work fast but I like to go slow because I like my lines to look a certain way so yeah I'm just gonna uh, keep going in with the other lines and right here like I really love to break it up like this it makes the plaid so much easier if you're struggling with plaid and you're like oh my gosh there's so many lines I don't even know where to start I got you again one-on-one -on -one experience I'm gonna be doing all of this plaids everything and I'm I'm calling it the one-on-one -on -one experience because I'm gonna be walking you through step by step so that you can basically work alongside me and then I'm possibly in the future i'm thinking of doing like actual one-on-ones where we get to either zoom or talk or something of that nature um it's in the works if you are interested in something like that let me know but i mean if not or if you're shy because i'm i'm very shy i'm not even gonna lie but if you're shy like me the one-on-one -on -one experience is gonna be amazing because it's gonna allow you to work at your pace you can pause me <laughs> you can you know make me whatever rewind me whatever you need to do and then you can work at your own pace and yeah it's it's gonna be awesome i'm i'm really really excited about this so yeah so that was the plaid nail i'm just gonna add that beautiful beetles top coat oh i just love it it's so pretty so now we're gonna get into this heart nail oh my gosh i love the heart nails they take so long though like so long but it's worth it because it's so pretty so i'm just gonna let you guys watch uh i really love to do hearts with the dotting tool 
it just like starts it off really good um, really easily and yeah it's it's just a lot easier for me and it looks good so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch the heart nail because it is it's a pretty long you know even though it's sped up and I don't you basically just outline the each heart so yeah I'm just gonna let you guys watch Okay, so something I like to do when I'm doing either nail art or like, for example, these heart nails, I will go ahead and do the whole heart nail and then I'll go back with the darkest colors, so the black and then the dark brown, and I will re-outline or, you know, 
perfect the lines so to say <laughs> I try very hard to perfect them and I just you know some lines might need to be thickened some just might need to be straighter or more curt like whatever it is I just like to go back in and perfect them the darkest colors because I mean if I try to do the light color over the black or the dark brown it's just not gonna look right so I, I know for a fact that that black is gonna cover up the dark brown and then the dark brown is gonna cover up the light brown wherever I need to fix it so yeah that's just what I'm doing here I'm just going in and going around and just making sure that it's perfect to my eye <laughs> and then yeah it truly 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 makes all the difference when you go back into the nail and then you look at it from different angles and then you see like okay this side can go up a little more or okay I need to make this one a little bit straighter and just know like you can you can always do that I always go back it's not gonna be too much gel it's not gonna be anything like that like you can always go back in and fix that nail before you put the top coat on so right here I am just gonna go in with I'm actually going in with a gloss top coat because it's gonna it's a thicker top coat so it's gonna like you know basically make all of the lines the same level if that makes sense and then she did request these to be matte so I'm gonna go back in the end with matte so that's another thing like I don't really use base coat so I'll go in with like you know multiple layers of gel and then for these like specific nails I did a, a glossy coat and then a matte top coat so now that we're done with the heart nail let's get into the 3d flower these nails that I recreated I actually made a couple videos back just to show you guys some fun fall nail designs and somebody like one of my customers she's super sweet she actually was like can I get like a full set of those I was like uh, yes of course I love that so I'm just showing you guys like how I recreate a set from you know a set that's already been made so basically I have the nails right in front of me and I'm just looking at them each time for this particular nail I didn't have the same uh, charms so I asked her if she wanted the same I was gonna order the same or if she was okay with any charms and she was so cool she was like you pick the charms you you know you do it I'm just excited to get this set I was like oh my gosh I love that like I absolutely love freestyling I love just like throwing in little things little details into nails so I love 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 that but yeah right here I'm just going in with the I don't know 3d 5d the gel the molding gel and I'm just putting a whole bunch of beads down basically as if you were doing an acrylic flower you're gonna need a bead on the brush you're gonna put it on the nail but with acrylic you have to work fast because acrylic dries with air with gel you have all the time in the world and if you don't cure this it's not it's you know it's not done so the that's why I am like I love gel now I didn't really know that before because I was an acrylic tech I did acrylic nails all day long I did hard gel here and there but acrylic was my go-to my number one and I did not like gel now I love gel obsessed with gel and there's so much more you can do with gel I feel like but that's just me um, so yeah so I'm just going in with this um, the my silicone tool and I am just making the petals and it's really like you get to just have fun when it comes to making flowers and stuff like look how cute and then you guys this is the end of the video we did it we're here so I'm just gonna add in one more little thing of bling a little tiny golden you know just to make it pop a little more and then I'm gonna add the top coat and then I'm going to package them and then you guys are gonna see what they look like all boxed. Oh yeah, really quick, I completely forgot. I One more thing I like to do before I top coat my 3D um, art is I like to go in with a matte top coat on top of them and I like to matte them out. If you have seen like 3D acrylic flowers and stuff, they're always matte because acrylic dries matte. So with gel, it doesn't. Like if you can see the ones that I haven't put the top coat on yet, it's still shiny, which, you know, everybody has their own preference. Again, my preference is just that they are matte like the, you know, most of my 
pictures that I recreate. So yeah, look at the difference in that. And then it brings out the design. So I just love doing that. And then I'm now I'm going in with my mat again to seal everything in. And then I am going to really package them this time. But if you are still here, thank you so much for watching. Definitely be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell, hit that like button if I taught you anything, or even if you just love it here and you want to help me out, it really truly helps me out when you hit that like button, when you, you know, uh, comment or even just hit that bell. Whatever you want to do, I'm happy you're here. I love it so much. I love teaching and yeah, so here's what they look like, all boxed up, super cute. And then I threw in a handmade roach clip for her or a debit card clip, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. See you next week.